Hello everyone, my name is Yongliang Shen from Zhejiang University, and it's my great pleasure to present our recent work, a trigger sense memory flow framework for joint entity and relation extraction. This is a joint work with Xin Yima, Ye Chuan Tao, and Wei Min Lu. Entity recognition and relation extraction aim to extract structured knowledge from unstructured text and hold a critical role in information extraction and knowledge based construction. Current entity recognition and relation extraction methods fall into two categories, pipeline method and joint method. Pipeline methods lab entities through an entity recognition model and then predict the relation between them through a relation extraction model. The two models are separate and are trained independently. Joint methods construct a unified model to perform entity recognition and relation extraction simultaneously which can explore the dependency between the two tasks and to mitigate the error propagation uh, problem solved by the pipeline model. Current efforts focus on enhancing the interaction between entity recognition and relation extraction through parameter theory and joint decoding for the parameter theory method. Different tasks can uh, perform different tasks separately uh, based on the same encoding. For the joint decoding method, the model designs a uniform decoding schema or impose constraints for relations and entities, explicitly enhancing the interaction between the two tasks. Our method follows the parameter sharing joint method. Current joint models have made pro great progress. However, the following issues still remain. First, entity recognition and relation extraction tasks are supposed to be mutually beneficial, but the current interaction between entity recognition and relation extraction is insufficient and unidirectional. Secondly, uh, trigger information is underutilized in relation, in relation extraction. They are essential for relation extraction but overlooked. Third, there is no distinguish between the syntactic and the semantic importance of words in your sentences. Uh, some words have a significant syntactic role but uh, contribute little to the semantics, such as uh, Pro, uh, prepositions and conjunctions, while some words are just the opposite, su such as nouns and uh, notional verbs. How to improve the interaction between texts? How to make a uh, good use of relation trigger information? How to distinguish the semantic and syntactic rules of words in the extraction model? We provide a solution. We construct a memory module between the NER and the IE tasks, and it stores the representations of entity categories and the relation categories. By interaction with the memory, we connect the entity recognition and relation extraction tasks. We introduce a trigger word sensor on the relation extraction task based on the attention mechanism, uh, which aggregates relation trigger words and facilitates relation classification. On the encoder, we construct a semantic and a syntactic graphs and a dynamically uh, fuse them. This is the overall architecture of our model. Consists of five main modules, memory, multi-level memory, flow attention, syntactic, semantic graph weighted filter, trigger sensor, and memory aware class file. Uh, in summary, our model performs a four-level sen uh, sentences encoding, subword, word, span, and uh, span pair, and a two-step classification. Entity classification and relation classification. Next, I'll cover uh, five of my modules of our model in detail. Memory consists of entity memory and relation memory. Each slot of them indicate an entity uh, category and a uh, relation category, respectively. We, divide, we define two types of process memory read process and, and the memory write process to manipulate the memory. For memory read process, we define two processes to read the memory normal reader process and inverse reader process. The normal reader process uh, takes the input as a query, the memory as a key and value, while the inverse reader process takes the memory as a query and, uh, and the input as a key and value. For memory write process, we write entity memory using gradients of entity classification losses and write relation memory using gradients of relation classification losses. Memory flow attention mechan mechanism is uh, to enhance task relevant information in the input sequence, such as entity surface names and the trigger words. Given a memory M and a sequence encoding E, we calculate the memory aware sequence encoding by running memory inverse read process 
we design a multi-memory flow uh, attention mechanism that is a mean pooling of uh, two single memory flow attention on entity memory and relation memory. We know that language are high, hierarchical. Uh, we extend the, mem uh, the multi-memory flow attention me mechanism to multi-level, uh, sub-world level and uh, world level and uh, design a multi-level multi-memory flow attention mechanism. We construct a directed syntactic graph from a sentence based on dependency parsing, then use the agon to update nodes. Representation for semantic graph, we compute the density adjacency metric based on semantic similarity. Then we compute a weighted average for aggregation of neighbor nodes and update the node representations of a semantic graph. Based on the two graphs, we design a graph weighted a fusion module to dy dynamically fuse the two graphs according to the relative semantic and syntactic importance of words. We design a local context encoder and a, a full context trigger sensor to compute the local context representation and the full context trigger representation. First, we aggregate local context information between spans of interest and using max pooling. Then for trigger sensor, we use hand span and tail span uh, as queries respectively and uh, execute a normal reader process on the relation memory. Then we perform mean pooling across them to get the span pair specific relation representation M. We wait the word sequence to get the full context trigger representation based on the similarity between M and uh, each word representation. Finally, we incorporate the local context representation and the full, con full context uh, a trigger representation into final span pair representation. Representations of the entity and the relation categories are stored in entity memory and the relation memory, respectively, based on the bilinear similarity between the instance representation and the categories representation. We compute the probability of candidate span SI uh, between being an entity E and uh, the probability of a candidate span pair SI SG having a relation R. Finally, we define a joint loss function for entity classification and relation classification, where LS denotes the cross entropy loss and LR denotes the binary cross entropy loss. The experimental uh, results are shown in the table. Our model consistently outperforms the state of the art models for relation extraction on all data sets. We attribute the improvement on three, uh, to three reasons. First, our model can share learned information between tasks through the memory module. Second, the trigger sensor module can enhance the relation trigger information. Lastly, uh, taking a step further from introducing uh, structure information through syntactic graphs, we distinguish the semantic and the syntactic importance of words. We conduct an ablation study to further investigate the effectiveness of these modules, removing the a trigger sense module has the most significant effect. Comparing different level MFA, we find that the improvement of MFA at the subword level is more significant. We thus believe that fine-grained semantic information is, is more uh, effective for relation extraction. The performance of the syntactic semantic graph weighted fusion module varies widely across datasets. Uh, we think that syntactic information has different importance on different uh, domains. We perform ablation study on different type of memory specific MFA. We find uh, both entity specific MFA and relation specific MFA bring significant uh, performance improvement, and the relation specific MFA improves more than entity specific MFA. Comparing the two experiments, which only use the semantic graph or syntactic graph. We find that the syntactic graph provides a greater improvement in model performance, probably because the initial encoding of the nodes of the syntactic graph have already contained the semantic information. Compared to max theorem, mean theorem, and sum theorem, the node-wise weighted theorem method brings more improvement on relation FE score. So in summary, we use the memory to exploit the mutual dependency and enhance the bidirectional Inter interaction between entity recognition and uh, relation extraction. Also, we distinguish the semantic and the syntactic importance of a word in a sentences and uh, uh, the semantic and the syntactic graphs. Furthermore, focusing on the uh, relation triggers, we design a trigger sensor.
to sense and enhance the triggers based on memory. Our model can extract the relation triggers without any trigger annotations, which can better assist the relation extraction and provide an explanation. In the future, we will improve uh, our work along with two directions. First, we plan to impose uh, constraints on the memory due to the fact that relations and entities substantively uh, satisfy specific constraints at the ontology level. Second, for uh, improving the model's ability on sensor trigger, we plan to add a weaker supervision. Uh, if you want to learn more about our method, uh, you can find more detail in our paper. Thank you for watching.